as students make their way back to campus, they may find themselves faced with time to kill between classes. Some students might choose to wander or sit in silence in the library, but the multicultural center offers something different. I often hear students were like, you know, sometimes I'm on campus early, but it doesn't matter anymore because I can come to the MCC and I can come hang out. There's people that they can connect with. There's people that can conversate with. I get a lot of students who are new to the campus, right? Hey, I don't really know too many people on campus yet. Well, guess what? Now you know me. Now you know some of the regulars that come into the multicultural center, right? Now there's a place for you to come connect with other students, to come share ideas. The MCC isn't just a place for relaxation. It also serves as a hub for students for education and engaging with different cultures. One of the good things that I think I love about the Multicultural Center is that we have our alliances under the Multicultural Center. And if you don't know what our alliances are, they act as support groups for our students across campus. We have nine of them. Um, so that's one of the big initiatives, just one of the initiatives with the Multicultural Center. Initially formed in 2020, this year serves as the first for the MCC to reach students on campus. The MCC is currently located in the cafeteria, but its permanent location is set to open next semester in Bonelli Hall as more students take interest. My hope is that the students come to learn that this is a place for them to connect, grow, and to just be. For Canyons News, I'm Lindsay Tolls.